welcome Arnold today to my interview, brother. What is up? The pleasure is all mine. Thank you for having me. Nice to meet you. Let me get right into this because today we're going to talk about peptides and even anabolic steroids and how young men use them in the real world. How old are you, sir? I'm 20 years old currently. Wow. Okay. I want you to tell us first off, what are you about, sir? What are you about? So as a content creator, influencer, and then a bodybuilder, I do, you know, harm reduction videos for the younger generation, for the younger audience who, you know, like are experimenting with all different kinds of things, using them as tools. And I'm not anti it, or I'm not, you know, saying, hey, this is the best thing possible. I'm just here to put out information that I've learned, research myself, just help other people. Make your own decision. This is honesty now. This yes. is honesty. My word is, as the anabolic doc, is harm reduction and being super progressive in a real in a real way to show men that are young what harm and what could happen and what will happen from the hair to the acne to the face to the bitch tits to the heart the prostate to the kidney some things that young men like you you're going to prioritize your hair and your acne and your face look at you you're i mean you're a good looking young man Thank and you're you. only 20 and but you're not a fool and i don't think men are fools and men have been characterized as fools for being bombastic and foolish of taking actions without thinking and i want to work with that from a harm reduction standpoint as i'm the anabolic doc obviously Shit. i'm an older guy Damn. but i'm showing the world that if you use pets and i've used them and i'm not supporting them uh, you there's a way to do it that you have to prioritize your health gentlemen and this is just for men that are potentially utilizing harm reduction pets from steroids to peptides and SARMs. we're going to do it today guys this is my first opening podcast with a real man who's going to talk about this stuff because no one's being censored here sir you told us what you're about tell us now what peds are you on let's talk about a spectrum of pre pro hormones SARMs and steroids and peptides let's talk about the real steroids first all right so I'll give you a rundown of the real steroids so basically I got into it was a year ago, my levels are really low from competing, uh, you know, a natural, um, natural level for three shows. So I got prescribed TRT. So that's how I started everything. So just test then. But now for my competition that I did the Kuko classic, I ran, um, testosterone, obviously testosterone propionate at about 350 milligrams. And then Prima Bolin, about the same dosage. Um, following up with that is Anivar at 50 milligrams. And then Stanazar Winstraw for 50 milligrams also. And then after that, I don't know. That That's about it for the whole time being. There's nothing crazy going on. So those are the wow. four steroids. Young brother, this is real and you're telling it what it is. What do you think about the fake natties, brother? What's going on with that? I got one word for the fake natties, and honestly, they're pussies, to be honest. Like, it's 2023, guys. It's 2023. You can be... People are coming out with their pride shit, and then everybody's like, hey, like, I'm this, I'm that. You know, identifies as whatever. What's holding you back from saying, I'm not natural? That just, That's all it takes. I'm not natural. And that's... What's wrong? What's wrong with that? I don't see anything wrong with that. So, yeah, I'm. That's my stance on it. I'm not natural, and I do not like people who lie. So, wow, sir, no one's saying this better than you. Now, this is the new world. You are my attaché to the streets of pets. It's yes. real. You're 20, and it, it of course can break my heart with the potential dangers. But the only way to teach 
is to show and to be progressive. Gentlemen, if you do this, therefore this is gonna happen. Not just to the hair and to the acne in the face, potentially, and the, the gynecomastia, but in the end, you're gonna lose your natural production of testosterone, testicles, fertility, and sex is gonna be an issue, potentially depression, uh, deadly depression as we know. And of course, in the end of the day, it's, it's the heart and the kidneys. I am great at not having a heart attack. My number one thing, Arnold, guys on PEDS, I've proven it. I'm almost 60. I've prioritized my heart and my kidneys with the grace of God. And I've developed protocols for the, on the Anabolic Doc app to protect men on all spectrum oh, yeah. of steroids. It's harm reduction. I don't support it. It's harm reduction. Okay, brother, you talked about the steroids. Let's go into the SARMs and the peptides. Okay, first of all, on my end, I hate SARMs. I do not like SARMs. Wow. I really, I really hate it. And that's my stand. I actually made my first SARM video a uh, while about, about two days ago. Um, and I absolutely hate it, but people want us want me to talk about it. They just like, hey, talk about SARMs, talk about SARMs. So talking talking my ear off. So that's why I did it. But um, pro hormones, you know, pro hormones. I've never middle with that either. I, in my opinion, what I always thought was, if that's gonna turn into a little trace amount of whatever gear that's gonna have, like you know, that what it represents in my body, why would I risk just take further? The video. Yeah, why would I risk any you know like hepatoxicity? Just just pin, you know, like people are afraid of needles. That's why you see these people running all this shit. And it's the, the fear of the of needles. And honestly, just get over it, dude. Like, come on. Like, you're already taking But we, but we never want brothers to share needles because men can get... Right. They can get blood Do not blood. share. Yeah. Right. They could, they could get... Let's, let's talk harm reduction. They could get blood-borne diseases such as HIV, hepatitis B, hepatitis C. I've seen it. It's rare. But brothers, never, ever, ever, ever share a needle with another brother. Yes, Never. always cleanliness. Cleanliness is key. You see these right. horror stories, but that they did not do anything correctly, you know. So, and, and this is for the doctors. This is for the doctors. If you look at the data on steroid users, we do have data, but it's very interesting data that's 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 anecdotal and historical, right? You're just asking questions, and it's not peer reviewed. Uh, it's not perspective. Uh, controlled, placebo controlled, it, it, no, because there's no fucking money in it. <laughs> exactly. Bleep it out, guys. Bleep it out, editors. <laughs> because there's no fucking money in it. No one gives a shit. Yeah. I do. So, and and none of these these drugs, all these drugs are either not controlled or they're controlled, but they're all generic. Let it be known. Doctors in the past have said that steroid users act like heroin users and they're wrong they're, that's been refuted that again that's yeah. disparaging right arnold that's disparaging yeah that, that's crazy that's a that's crazy, crazy claim crazy that's claim not, ha, a few guys a few men in the world a few a, a number that is going to be a number of one versus millions have contracted hiv hepatitis b and c because they're sharing needles and this medical community again that's they're coming home to me my medical brothers and sisters are coming home to me because they're humble, because more patients like you are coming to them on all these drugs and they don't, what are peptides, SARMs, drugs, what? They, we need to educate doctors, not alienate doctors. Doctors are getting off their high horse or they're gonna, their horse is gonna leave town. Exactly, we, <laughs> I like that, that's, that's, that's gonna, a good one. Because this is the real streets in the world and this is harm reduction. So they, they, they have to understand that men are going to use needles. And it's, it's, it's paradoxic that it's, it may be safer than the oral drug. What? Exactly. Doctors, doctors don't even know this. 20 years later, with my screamings and my teachings and my pontifications, doctors don't even know. But they're going to know because of you, sir. Tell us about the peptides. Let's go into, we're going to close yep. up on this because we have a lot to do. We want to talk about two particular peptides. 
and then we're going to have a series on ongoing gentlemen yes, in the sir. world. So peptides, I've basically all your, you know, all your peptide list of a whole catalog. I've basically tried all of them myself. So we can go from, you know, the main ones, BPC-157, TB-500. We got CJC, Ipamorelin, you know, the GHRP-2, GHRP-6, uh, Kispeptin, uh, GHK copper peptide, and then Epithalon peptide, IGF-1, LR3, and then, you know, also uh, semaglutide for my prep, HGH frag, AOD. Um, I mean, the, the list can go on. Insulin? How about, how about real insulin? Insulin, yes. So insulin, that's an interesting thing, though. I do not you know. Some of these peptides, you have to take it for at least a month or so, right? Or 25 days to see, you know, some sort of benefits or results. But for insulin, I only use insulin whenever I'm in contest prep the day of the show. That's the secret to my to pumping up before my show. So like, okay, I just get again, I'm not for this. But I, I, I'm 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 in the streets now with you guys. What tell us exactly what insulin do you use? How do you use it? And, and what what do you feel? So it is a European brand. I do not know the actual branding. I don't know the you know, the company because it's a European I can't read it. So basically, it's a fast acting insulin. And you do about 10 units and then you, you know, just carb up about 50 grams of carbs and then that's it. And then you, you just feel it, amazing. You, you just do it one, right before you go on the stage or before the show or? About 30 minutes um, prior to pumping up. So when they, you know, call the people and then, you know, okay, like about 30 minutes, I got to go on stage. You pop it in, you know, to subcutaneously and then you take your carbs in and they start pumping up and I mean, you just... You just feel better. You feel, you you know, it gives you a euphoric feeling, not just gives you a better pump, insulin. It gives you kind of a, like a wow. head feel uh, too. So it makes you more confident, in my opinion. Thank you for letting us know that. And gentlemen in the world, young men in the world, just I want you to, to be careful with this. I want you to be careful. I don't want men doing this, Arnold, but I'm here. I'm here as a spiritual person. This is a spiritual, I've reached the point of my adult life as I'm getting older to make sure that you, you men understand what this is and what it, it is, because look at the bodies. And again, this, none of this is, is naughty, but no. it is, but you are, but what a sweetheart. It doesn't diminish you. You're a brilliant man and you're, a, you're a decent, good man. And you're, you're coming out because it's time to come out. Like like you said, the pride. Yes. People are coming out now. So what is the difference with men that, and none of you guys are getting drugged. You're not a major league <laughs> baseball player. You're not breaking any rules and regulations because everyone at these shows is, is on drugs. Yeah, facts, factual. Facts. Let me, let me open up my science for you. I have my cheat sheet because I'm a steroid expert. I don't spend my time researching this stuff, but I'm going to start doing it. And I've done videos on it, but I don't lie and I don't bullshit like everyone else. So I'm going to tell you, here's what I see from the medical standpoint, a quick summary. BPC-157, gut peptide, very interesting. TB-500, more interesting to me. Uh, thymosin beta-4, it's a active actin polymerizer. And it, you look on this stuff and I could read and read and read and read. I'm not a biochemist. I'm a medical clinical physician. So when it look when any of us read this stuff, a lot of it goes over our head. Being isn't that nice? I'm so honest. But I could see in the end of the day, and we could go on and on with the bro science. But yeah, it's, yeah. it's irritating and it's 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 annoying because who the fuck cares about the the the, the real bro science? Because we don't know. There's no clinical trials. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. So, but hold on. We could sh let's show off a little longer. Yes. Tissue regeneration, anti-inflammation. -infl let me keep going. I did work on this for you. I was prepared for today. Chronic pain. Let's go into it. I want to give you guys from a medical from a medical brain, looking at it as a physician for 20 years, more than 20 years. I'm an internal medicine doctor. Little old ladies. I used to take care of moms and dads and people that have of the following chronic pain 
from osteoarthritis, getting older, obesity, cardiometabolic disease, and of course, young men are in pain because of their training hard. Man, my joints hurt too, brother. Inflammation, secondary to real disease like rheumatoid arthritis and autoimmune conditions and metabolic disease and obesity, again, cardiometabolic. Next is going to be looking at recovery and healing in wounds. It does Yes. It does work on pay. It, it, I mean, guys, I'm telling the truth. The stuff, when you read it, it's like miracle stuff. Hold on. Now, and the recovery in wounds, but I looked at it from a clinical perspective. Where are the, where is the perspective placebo controlled, randomized, double blind studies, Arnold? And there are none. And I keep saying the same thing I'll say today. If, you know, there's, have you ever hear of pharmaceutical companies? You know, we have pharmaceutical companies in the world, right? You think yep. they make a few dollars? Oh, shit. Right. They <laughs> a, make, a few hold dollars. On, hold on. This is a medicine. I like real medicines, right? Yep. That's a PCSK9. This costs billions of dollars to make. It does work. I like those medicines. Yep. Now, I'm opening my mind. So these these are not currently patent. I, there's no patents. Mm -hmm. People, anyone could tip now. Again, this is I'm not a lawyer. And right now, because of the gray laws, anyone could basically sell them because it's not for human consumption. It's for your lab yeah. rat. You're buying it for your, your lab rat. Like, yeah. is, your lab rat rat is exhausted. He's chronically he's overtraining. Yes. Okay, your lab yes. rat is really suffering. So, but this is not welcome to the world. So, this is something so interesting to me. So as a physician who looks at real evidence-based medicine, guys, we don't have any. So I'm done. I have to sit back and just watch. But I, this stuff, I read it and I say, why wouldn't I be on all this stuff? I don't take it for one reason and one reason only. <laughs> yeah, I'm a, I'm a wimp and I'm worried and I'm, I'm concerned. And I, I, I've been living a long time on real steroids and testosterone and I've developed protocols and how to protect against blood pressure and large hearts, watch the kidney, and you know, and my hair is getting a little thin, but I do the best I can. My prostate, thank God, is good, and I don't have cancer because I screen for it. That's where the Anabolic Doc app is gonna help you guys. Now, Arnold, you you tell me, brother, from you're not a doctor, but you're a massively brilliant bro science guy. You tell me about these two drugs. Hell, I got you. Um, so basically, how I got into these two things is these are the two first two peptides that I ever took in my life and I, they've been with me since right that's about yeah two two three two yeah two years ago since I started it so basically I had a back injury um you know slip disc and it was just keep on getting you know inflamed and inflamed and it's just like man like this is horrible like like screw this I can't lift properly so I did some research and saw this TB500 and then the BPC stuff. And I was like, like, this sounds too good to be true, right? So I was like, fuck it, why not? So got some of it, tried it on, you know, the, the my lower back. And holy shit, like, that's why, I, that's why I started doing what I do is I found out. I was like, damn, like, it, it works. Like, since then, since using that first, you know, pep, not, not, yeah, peptide cycle, my lower back has never gotten like inflamed or my disc has How never. How is the cycle? Like, I know you can't live on it forever, right? Yeah. I don't know. I don't know about this stuff. Like I do steroids. How do you use it? Like, how is this stuff used? So basically you just reconstitute the peptide with a, you know, backwater and then you subcutaneously inject it into the, you have to inject it in the side of pain or wherever you want to heal. So that really matters. And, um, and then it just does its job. That's just how you use it. And then dosing it correctly, I would say, you know, 250 micrograms is pretty standard. And then go into it um, 30, 30 days till, or just till, till your injury heals. Till your injury well, heals. But when you stop, doesn't, doesn't it all come back or no? Or no, I mean, no, I mean, your injuries, if, if you had torn a ligament and then it just speeds up the healing, you can't just 
re tear a ligament, you know, you know what I'm saying? Because one, okay, so I think interesting thing I read about the peptide that I was reading was in an article. I don't know if it was a the study done on it on rats or whatever, but the thing they're comparing it. Um, I actually did a presentation on this for my my class. So I researched, I did a lot of digging, trying to find as much stuff as possible. So you look at acetaminophen or like Advil, people take that for the gym. They're like, oh, my joints aching. But that actually causes kidney damage right. or kidney possible damage. yeah, right. organ right. damage for the right. people that are taking a lot of it, like popping my candy, right? Um, and then it also weakens your tendons over time. Right. Weakens your joints. So people think, oh, I'll, I'll feel great. But... Are you really feeling great or just masking the pain? And cortical cortical steroids obviously are damaging and but they remove pain for a while. Exactly. So with these two things, it repairs your tendons, lowers your inflammation, and then helps with pain as well. But also at the same time it strengthens your joints, strengthens your muscles surrounding it. So right. that's why I choose I have never taken an Advil for two okay. years. So, but, so, the, so the, the harm reduction and the honesty and the clinical warning stuff is, and we're going to wrap up on this because we have so much to do, is that too good to be true, I'm concerned, Opti uh, optimistic concerned. If it's so good, why doesn't one of the multi-billion dollar pharmaceutical companies take that patent like a candy, like a candy from a baby's little hand, because they could with the money and make it a, a mil a, a, like Viagra, a multi-trillion dollar drug. I don't understand why. Maybe it will happen next month, next year. And, and you guys, you know, it's going to be like, oh, shit, they, it's, it's happened. This stuff is real. And then, they, and then people are going to be pissed because now they can't access it cheap. And that's unethical. Well, welcome to the world of money and business, brother. So, and I'm an older man. I could tell you that. So in the end of the day, what, what what are there's no free lunch every action this is spiritual and this is newtonian physics every action has an equal and opposite reaction yes if i drop this pen on the paper it bounced there's an equal and opposite reaction for everything you're doing there's going to be some side effect the side effects i've seen just anecdotally because i take care of so many patients that have used this all for the 10 years it's been around or plus or minus with SARMs. And, but I know it's not a SARM. We're talking BPC-157 and TB-500. They, they, in effect, I think it could deplete some of the CNS uh, uh, neural transmitters like serotonin, norepinephrine, and dopamine. Because I've seen fatigue and paradoxic exhaustion after. But there's, we're using so many different – people have so many things. They're yeah. training. They're stressed. Their business. Their life. Life is stressful, so is it? They have depression, they have anxiety, they're on different drugs. We 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 have there's not you there's no way we could determine unless it's a very well controlled study, yep. and no one's doing it because there's no patent on it. No one cares because there's no money in it, and that's the truth of the matter. So you, but I'm here for openness, and it is what it is. So this is amazing that you did it, and is it really going to regenerate? you know, da damaged, tendinous, soft tissue, your body can do it to some degree, but it, does this help? Now, we're going to close on this. I know I say it. Orthopedic surgeons, please give us some. Yeah. I want to hear from my author. You know, I'm a doctor, so I want to go to the expert. The expert on this is going to be rheumatology doctor and or physical medicine and rehab doctor and or orthopedic surgeon. Done. Now, we know that the, the guys are going to comment, give comments, guys. Let's blow this up. Let's <clears throat> blow this everywhere in the world for, for the truth and for, for, for goodness and kindness and real karma. But in the end of the day, yes, could this hurt orthopedic surgeons? Absolutely. Yes. Could it hurt the medical industry? Absolutely. Yeah, before we leave off, though, I got one, one quick thing to say. One quick story. So basically, we're bringing up the orthopedics, right? So interesting thing, I got hit by a car um, in the in the middle of the two years, and I'm still here. I was on my bike, uh, biking back from a class that I was going to, right? It was at night. The dude didn't stop, ran the stop sign. He just stopped barreling and just kept on going. I got hit off my bike, flew, like fucking 
I don't know how far. Land on the ground, my, you know, thank God nothing else was broken. So I had a mini fracture on my, uh, on my uh, lower part of my leg. And then basically it bruised knee. Um, nothing torn, nothing, you know, nothing crazy. And at the time I was natural, but I was on those two peptides. Not saying those two made me that strong, but definitely my bone density was like pretty insane, right? So I go into it and they tell me, oh, this is the time you're going to have to, you know, be on crutches and recover. And I basically, you know, started using those two peptides again for my injuries and basically healed them, healed my injuries within like half the tam time span. And I'm not saying this is a miracle or, you know, saying, but I'm just saying like to some degree it works because I can't, I don't think that I, my body just randomly say, you know, they told me, Hey, orthopedics say, Hey, two weeks, we give you how many weeks. And then somehow okay. just got cut in half. So but now, now to, to, to support, I have to say this for my brothers, you yes. know, I'm a mediator, right? I'm like the Jimmy Carter, right? So for my brothers that are listening, that are doctors and sisters, that are doctors, here, here I'm going to say, you're a 20-year-old man. You're so healthy and young. You could get up. You, God forbid, you, you, you got hit by a car. You flipped around. You landed. You crashed. And you walked away. So I'm being honest. So yeah. is, is that, that's the main, that's what's mainly going on. Did this, could this, these agents, because they're not medicines, can they provide support and ameliorate healing and, and inflammation and pain and, and recovery? Can they? That's my question. Yeah. I need to hear it from legitimate, board-certified, academic, non-judgmental doctors that are not in the industry with the money. Yes. Okay. We're going to say goodbye. Arnold, you rock. Thank you, sir. It's my honor, my pleasure. My pleasure to be here. This is just our first interview. We'll get back to this guy. Yes, Thank yep. you so much. Sir. Thank you. Sir.